drug wars, the war on drugs. It's an ongoing huge topic, ongoing to some people problem in America today. Um, some people would say throughout the world, but we have countries like Portugal who ended its war on drugs in one brilliant strategy. Um, ATTN.com has a great article, how Portugal brilliantly ended its war on drugs. And when you read this and you see how easily they've done it, um, you realize the fallacies and the problem with addressing the, the problem of drugs with the way that America today is doing it, by criminalizing it and by being such harsh penalties and things like that. In the 90s, Portugal was as bad as any other country as far as drug use and whatnot, with the problems they had with it. Um, no worse, no better, just, you know, they had the same problems that most people have. In 98, they appointed a commission of doctors, lawyers, psychologists, professional people like that to address the problem, to look into it and see how it could best be resolved. Now, what they came back with was in some ways astonishing because it was polar opposite to the direction like the United States has taken where you're just going to throw everybody in jail and criminalize everything and make it a major crime instead of helping people. And there's the key. This is what Portugal has done. Uh, rather than zero tolerance, they came back with a policy that focused on prevention, education, and harm reduction. Their main goal, their objective to this policy was to reintegrate people back into society and to basically provide um, help for people that had a problem with drug abuse instead of throwing them in a prison and tossing away the key as they do in so many countries, uh, you know, like what happens in the United States today. Uh, you've probably seen there's like things going around on Facebook where they'll show like this, you know, one fellow I just saw has like a 50 year prison sentence and the comparables were something like, you know, some murderer only had 23 years and some terrorist only had like 17 years and things like this. And a rapist gets, you know, eight years. This poor guy who just sold a little bit of weeds in jail for 50 years. Um, and, and part of the problem too in America today is the duplicity of this. You look at like Governor Jeb Bush in, in Florida. He um, himself admits to having smoked a lot of dope in college. Uh, then he comes, turns around once he's a governor and he comes down real hard line on uh, marijuana. Makes it, uh, you know, mandatory prison sentences. Uh, except when his daughter, one of his daughters had a bit of a drug problem and got caught. And uh, he made an exception in her case. Everybody else can go to jail, but his daughter got a bit of an exception. So a lot of hypocrisy there from Mr. Jeb Bush. But it's exemplary to how it's been dealt with in the states. Um, we're slowly starting to see it turn around, uh, not from a federal perspective, uh, more from an individual state perspective. We're seeing state by state by state. Um, a lot of right-wing Christian states are still taking that very you know, pious, hypocritical stance against it, uh, which is funny because I don't think weed's ever mentioned once in the Bible. But here's a prime example of what we could do because Portugal uh, went exactly the opposite way and their results have been nothing short of amazing. They removed the criminal penalties, they provided health services to help rehabilitate people with this, and Portugal is now among the lowest countries with drug abuse problems. Levels of drug consumption in Portugal are now among the lowest in the European Union. And conversely, no surprise, the decriminalization of low-level drugs and the possession of it has resulted in a dramatic decrease in the amount of people arrested and the amount of people in jail. In short, overall, their society has benefited immensely. There's less drug use. In other words, this program is working, whereas the one in the States isn't. And there's less cost to the taxpayer because you don't have as many people that need medical help or are being, you know, it's a big bill to keep these people in jail. So uh, question is, why aren't we doing more like this in the States and in other countries where we're still fighting this crazy, silly war on drugs um, versus, you know, a country like Portugal who turned things right around, solved the problem by a much more progressive, much more humane approach. What do you guys think? Leave some comments below. Do you think we should be doing being more like Portugal? I think we should be. Or do you think we should continue on or countries like the States and other countries that follow them should continue on with this war on drugs? Thanks for watching, folks. Leave some comments below. We'll be back soon.